Okay, let us now understand how do you calculate the highest common factor by division method. Let's suppose you have to find the HCF of find HCF of 420 and 18. Right? So how do you calculate the HCF of these two numbers? The numbers are very simple. Step 1. Find the bigger number and divide it by smaller one. So in this case our bigger number is 420 and the smaller one is 18. So we divide 420 by 18. Right? So let's do that. 18 would not go into 4. 18 for then we have 42. 18 would go 2 times to make it 36. If you multiply it by 3 times it will give you 54 which is more than 42. 12 minus 6 gives you 6. 1 you had borrowed from here so 3 minus 3 is 0. Right? Now how do I know what is the HCF? Well, once you get a remainder out here, what you need to do is, you need to put the divisor as the number to be divided what does this mean? The divisor in the first step was 18. This is step 1. Now you put this 18 as the number which has to be divided and divide it by remainder. Right? And this divisor has to be of the previous step. Right? So when you divide 18 by 6, you have 3. Right? The last of this divisor, which is 6 in your case, is the HCF or the highest common factor. Right? Now what can also happen is that, you know, it might just be that at the end of step 2, you don't necessarily get a 0 out here. So let's say you got 2 out here. Please ignore this. Okay, let's say the remainder was 2. In that case, the divisor of step 2, which is 6, would have become the number itself. 2 it would have gone into 6 3 times, 6, 0. So you keep on following these steps of making the divisor of the previous step as the number itself unless and until you get the remainder as 0. Okay? And once that is done, whichever is the last divisor, that is the HCF. Let me take another example to explain this concept better. So let's say you were told that you have to find out the HCF of two numbers which are 2, 3, 1, 0 and 1, 6, 5. Well, now this seems to be a little interesting. So what do we do? Find the bigger number which is 2, 3, 1, 0 and divide it by the smaller number. So basically, when you have to divide 2310 by 165, you have to take a multiple so that this entire 2310 is exhausted. Now roughly if you see, this is something like 16. So let's say we take it how many? Obviously it is more than 10. So 10 will give you 1650, 2310.
it will give you something around 660 which is another 4 times. So, we will multiply 16, 1, 165 by 14. The idea is to get a number as close to 2310 as possible. Okay. So, 14 into 5 gives you 70, 0, 7 carry. 14 into 6 gives you 84 plus 7, 91, 1, 9 carry. 14 ones are 14 and 9 gives you 23. Well, interesting, but in this case, we've got a 0 in the first step itself, which means that 165 is the highest common factor of 165 and 2310. Right? So that's what you have to do. Basically get a zero as easily as possible.